Somebody that has sensitivity, they're gonna already know. You're gonna get that common question, is it gonna make my teeth sensitive? Your your best answer to that question is, have you whitened before? No, I haven't. So how do you know you have sensitivity? Oh, you know, I get sensitivity to hot and cold. Okay, so after a treatment, you may want to avoid anything extremely hot or anything extremely cold. But if you have never whitened before, then you'll in our process, you'll know within the first few minutes if there's gonna be discomfort. You'll know before, not after. Now, somebody tells you, yeah, I have whitened, your biggest question should be, well, where have you whitened? Was it at the dentist? At the dentist. The dentist is using three to four times the strength in one 20 minute session as you're using in the whole treatment. So. If, if there's that much of a concentration of hydrogen peroxide being put to the tooth, sensitivity will occur. Hydrogen peroxide dehydrates the tooth. So when the teeth are dehydrated, that's when you get the sensitivity. Example, when you're sick, right, and your bones start aching, everyone always tells you, all right, drink, water, drink a lot of water, drink a Gatorade, rehydrate, right, and then you'll feel better. Same thing happens with teeth whitening. But when you have such a high volume of, of concentration of the peroxide going on at one time, it's very easy to feel uncomfortable. So you don't have to worry about that. You can always comfort the client. We've had many people with sensitivity, or you can even, if, you, if you're still in the beginning stages and they know that, you know, the people I've trained with have had over 15,000 people that have had a lot, and, and nine out of 10 have had bad experiences with teeth whitening. They didn't have that same thing with this type of process. So just comfort them that it's not gonna be the same, okay?